Meine Damen und Herren, Ladies and Gentlemen, hier ist der digitale this is the Transformer, digital Transformer of Mercedes-Benz. This is our show concept car called Concept Intelligent Aerodynamic, Aerodynamic Automobile, IAA. in short, IAA. Traditionally, I summarize my speeches at the end of the eve of the Frankfurt International Motor Show. But today, there is no need to do so. The executive summary is standing right in front of you. Our show car presents some of the advantages of digitization right inside the car. For example, a complete car-to-x communication with the exterior world, a completely digital head unit with real-time high-quality graphic presentations, which were so far reserved to Hollywood movies, or the new touch-sensitive user interface which allows the driver to fully focus on the road. I recommend to take a close look at the interior later on, as parts of this interior design will reappear in a new Mercedes business saloon very soon. Further strengths of digitization were used in the product generation process of this car. Higher engineering speed, for example. Never before did we engineer a car faster at Mercedes-Benz than this one. Higher precision. 300 prototype variants were calculated in some 1 million CPU hours. That corresponds to the figure of a normal series vehicle. More diversity. Actually, we have developed two cars in parallel. One to underscore visual looks, as you can see, while the other highlights are aerodynamic efficiency. Our transformer combines both. Depending on the situation on the road at low speeds and when it is stationary, the design is fully emphasized. And at speeds of 80 kmh and above, the show car changes automatically into the aerodynamics mode. Cambert, please give me a hand. Ah, there it comes. Uh, the exterior changes to optimize the aerodynamic performance. The front flaps move towards the outside. The blade under the front bumper moves backwards. The the rims close and the rear section extends by some 40 centimeters. Additionally, cameras substitute the exterior mirrors. Result, the CD value improves from an outstanding 0.25 to unbeatable 0.19, a world record for four or coupe. The best Considering all great digitization ideas, the best news for me is that at the end of the day, the cars are unbelievably fascinating, like this one. I believe in 2015 the automobile is where cell phones were before they became really web compatible. It is a product whose best time is yet to come. Digitization now paves the way to an infrastructure which will help us harness the full potential. And as opposed to many a telephone manufacturer, we at Mercedes are on the right track to tap into this unimagined potential ourselves. For me, it is clear this car and the prospects for Mercedes Benz have one thing in common. Both look damn good. First of all, it's a stunning vehicle with a fantastic look, uh, an appealing vehicle, uh, which is able to show this fantastic exterior at the same time create an absolute world record as far as aerodynamics are concerned. And this is possible by the characteristic which is kind of a transformer um, capability. So with higher speed up to over 80 uh, kilometers or 50 miles per hour, uh, you see changes in the front, in the rims, uh, in the rear, where the vehicle changes and performs from a 0.25 to a 0.19 CV, which is unheard of.
function of the diffuser is proper, the speed of We will see really fast in our Sears production cars, starting with the interior of this beautiful looking uh, concept car, uh, one of the fast coming uh, business limousine, for example, will use a lot of these uh, elements, the large screen, the HMI concept based on new ideas, uh, touch based, this will come soon and on the error side uh, I believe some of these new features also we will see uh, relatively early in our Sears production cars. They go outwards 25 millimeters, yeah. they go this way. Yeah. Oh, this is, this is. Well, here at Mercedes, there's always two things that come together. Um, intelligence on one hand, but emotion on the other. And this car embodies both. We have a beautiful, stunning proportion. It's a sexy, nicely sculptured car on one hand. But on the other hand, it's a really cool car. We have very clean surfaces. We don't use any hardly lines. Um, and um, the shape is, in fact, very intelligent as it achieves a drag of 0 0.19, which is world record. And we achieve that through a tapering cabin, uh, greenhouse um, shoulders, and a sharp um, dropping rear, which you can acti actively extend.